Welcome to the official Property Entrepreneur podcast with myself, Daniel Hill. On this Strip Back podcast, we're going to be going behind the scenes with special guests to provide insight and inspiration on all things business, life, and the actual realities of high performance in practice. Success and failure are both very predictable. We hope you enjoy. Good day, good day, good day. Welcome to... uh this sunny spring podcast and Facebook Live where we're going through the property entrepreneur values. So on the last one last week, I shared the three values that we have on property entrepreneur. There's only really three focus things we want for our clients and we want you to experience in your uh, your day, your week, your life and your relationships. And the first is is wealth, which we talked last week about the financial fortress and understanding how to actually get wealthy and how trying to be rich is actually stopping you from creating long-term wealth. And if you missed that, tune into last week's podcast and we talk about it on there. The second, which I'm going to talk about today, is health, is the importance of health in your life. And this is mental, this is physical, it's even spiritual when you get up to the higher levels. And we're going to talk today about how you need to get a handle on that and how, if you don't, or in fact, how the world is actually conspiring against you and and you don't stand a chance and everything's stacked uh, against your uh, your favor and then the third is uh, life by design so life by design is all about whatever you want to be whoever you want to be is that you go out and do it because if you don't live a life by design you're going to live a life by comparison and you're going to follow the highlight reel of social media the celebrity world of instagram and you're going to live your life constantly frustrated disappointed and probably have an impact on your uh, your personal, mental, and uh, a spiritual well-being in that capacity. Today, we're going to look at health, and this is ironically something that people don't normally address until later in their wealth creation journeys. Normally, people spend their lives working their backside off, burn themselves to a crisp, finally get money, and by the time they've they've got all their money, they've actually run out of uh, time, or in fact, they've they've run out of a, a body healthy enough to enjoy it. Not only that. The sad thing is we live and spend, we live in a generation and period in time where everything is conspiring against you, literally. If you, if you were to read the business, if I said to you, the government or society have created a business plan and their only objective is to slow you down. They don't want you to be moving fast. They don't want you to be progressing. They don't want you to be feeling good. They don't want you to be creative. They don't want you to be innovative. They don't want you to be independent. They don't want you to have control over your uh, your mind, body, soul, and well-being in your life. The business plan would look exactly how society looks today. You go to the supermarket, and I'm pretty sure uh, 70% of food in the supermarket is probably not actually uh, fit for human consumption. You go in there and there's aisles and aisles of aluminous purple packaging and refined sugars and saturated fats and battered everything, frozen things, beige foods, all of this stuff that's readily available. You literally have to look for the alternative. Everything else is in your face and it's completely affordable. You know, if if you're looking for something quick, easy and cheap to eat, it would be 70%, the 70% of the supermarket that is probably actually unedible. The world is conspiring against you and at every turn, they're trying to slow you down. So what we wanna do is look at how do we actually break that mold and how do we actually break out of that to enjoy a good level of mental, physical and uh, spiritual awareness and life in our day-to-day lives, in our businesses and in our relationships. So on Property Entrepreneur, this is our second value. The first one is about getting wealthy. We want you to get wealthy, but we don't want it to be at the expense of your health. And so the second that we focus on simultaneously is, uh, is health. And we want you to get to a point where you are performing on what we call your AAA game. And what this means is you feel good, you look good, you're performing well, you're motivated, and everything is far more enjoyable and effortless. And I don't mean that in the sense of we're sitting around having our nails painted and we're eating grapes. I'm talking about your energy levels are naturally more, uh, 
your energy levels are naturally more effective. You don't have peaks and troughs in energy levels during the day. When you crack how to get on your, your AAA game, you will genuinely, and I would highly recommend, speak to any property entrepreneurs who've done the program, speak to any of our get up and give backers who've done a get up and give back campaign with us. And they'll tell you that when you are on your AAA game and you follow the simple four steps to the health blueprint that we use on Property Entrepreneur, you will get out of bed and feel motivated in the morning. You will have energy when you once you've done your first few things uh, of the day. You will be more motivated to go and do what you need to do. You will feel more good in your, you will feel better in your body. You will feel um, emotionally and mentally more positive, more driven. You'll feel really, really good. But as we said, the world is conspiring against you. And unless you do these four things, you will be, you will be slower. You'll be in a state of sort of, you have, you have the brakes on consistently. We want to release those. So the four steps that we use within the health blueprint of the property entrepreneur methodology. So the first is steps. It's not a coincidence. I go out and I do steps when I do these videos because why not? It's sunny, it's enjoyable. I could sit and do it in the studio, but this is far more enjoyable and rewarding. So the first is steps. And what we'd encourage you to do is a minimum of 10,000 steps a day up to, if you want to do a, a more sort of advanced level, up to about 15,000 as a, as a baseline. If you think about your body as a car, Unless you go out and actually pump fuel around it, you will spend your day in second, at best, third gear. It'll be slow to get started. It'll feel like you're dragging, you lack in motivation because you're not pumping the fuel around the body. So the first thing is to get steps in, get them into your diary, do them on a daily basis. And what this does is it will get the fuel pumping around your body. It'll get your energy going. Tony Robbins says, where motion goes, energy flows. So this is the first thing of pumping up the, you know, you, you've got a choice of what vehicle you drive around in in this uh, life. Those of you that follow RNT, who's our partner on Property Entrepreneur with Body Transformations, they talk about the physicals of the vehicle. You've got a choice what vehicle you drive around in. It can have flat tires, it can have bits that are falling off, and it can be really noisy and poor performing. Or you can pump it up with big spoilers, big wheels, big, uh, big exhaust system, and you can get this thing firing on all cylinders. So the first is steps. 10 to 15,000 steps a day. Get the fuel pumping around the body, get the energy levels up. And obviously you've got two options here. Do you leave until later in the day and enjoy maybe three or four hours at the end of the day where you've got the fuel pumping? Or do you get yourself up, get yourself hydrated, which we're gonna talk about in a minute, step two, and get them out nice and early. Now, on Property Entrepreneur, we talk about the champion's breakfast, and it's not always achievable. I don't do it every day. But if you can get 8,000 steps in before 8 a.m., that is a champion's breakfast. So this morning, I got up, I walked, I could have driven, I was in an Airbnb, because I'm staying in Nottingham at our head office for a couple of days, day and a half. And I thought, I can either drive to the Airbnb or I can walk. So last night I walked to the Airbnb, took me about an hour and a half while well, I went via a restaurant for dinner. And then this morning got up, put my walking boots on and headed uh, to the office. So before I even got to the office, I'd done 45 to 60 minutes worth of steps. The blood was pumping. I didn't have my earphones in. It was an unplugged walk. So it was like motivating. It was nice to have a look around. Got the blood going and just generally feel good. I'd recommend getting your steps in nice and early. Um, if you want to know what sort of 10 to 12,000 steps look like, if you were to book out two 45 minute walks in your day, that plus all the little trimmings you do during the day will be about 12,000 steps. That's what we need to get the blood going, get your body going and actually make you feel good. If you're not, you're gonna spend all day in second and third gear. If you get up a reasonable time, bang some steps out in the morning, I guarantee you, you will almost immediately feel better. Obviously, it's got additional health benefits as well. The second, and the second is the best energy drink in the world. It's better than Red Bull, it's better than coffee, it's better than uh, Monster, regardless of what flavor or how, how few carbohydrates and sugars it has in it. The best energy drink in the world is number two. And if you introduce this to your life, I guarantee you, your energy levels will be more sustained. Your brain will think a lot quicker. Your appetite will be suppressed. Your skin over a period of time will begin to get significantly better. You will feel less, uh, you, you, will, you will flush out the toxins of your body very quickly. And this is water. Now, the, 
the amount of time and effort that we put whether it's through Property Entrepreneur or through uh, RNT Fitness, into getting people to drink water, is it never ceases to amaze me. When you drink water all the time, two to three litres a day, you'll know what it feels like to be actually hydrated. And then you, you'll actually understand and feel the benefits here, know what it feels like. Most people are not hydrated. Good, uh, good way to gauge on if you're properly hydrated is the fluids that you pass should be uh, sort of straw, like just off clear they shouldn't be completely clear because then you're probably overworking some of your organs but it should be you should be going you should be passing fluids reasonably frequently it's flushing the toxins out of your body and if you only do you know if you're only going a few times a day and it's a very deep color that's basically all of the poison that's been sitting in your body wait until there's enough to uh, to pass you want to be constantly flushing that through your body it'll rehydrate your body it'll give your brain the uh hydration it needs to be able to operate effectively it will suppress your appetite most of the time you're not actually hungry you're thirsty and the way you solve that is by eating food which in turn if you're not the do you know not doing steps not drinking water the outcome is you put on weight very very straightforward thing what i'd recommend is two to three liters a day and get that poured out in the beginning of the day i.e i've got a big uh water um not a jug what do you call it like a flask thing I know exactly how much water goes in there. I know how much of that I need to drink a day. And I just get on with it. And actually, it's part of getting up. Like when I get up, it's like, right, I now need to, I've been asleep all night. I now need to hydrate my body, get it ready to go, then go for my steps. And then before, I mean, I'll get up quite early anyway, but before seven, eight o'clock, I've already done six, seven, eight, 10,000 steps and I've drunk a litre, two litres of water, I'm then ready to start the day. I'm feeling good. I'm energetic. I'm optimistic. I'm feeling positive. The blood's, blood's moving around my body. So then the second one is water, is make sure you're drinking enough water. Hydrate the body and just start to see the benefits. You'll see this almost, uh, almost immediately. And again, start drinking it early. And when you start hitting the water, probably st stop drinking it about six, seven at night if you start hitting it early because, or if you start... If you start stepping up your, your hydration pretty quickly because otherwise you'll end up uh, visiting the ladies and gents in the middle of the night and that won't be uh, that won't be conducive to a triple a game so step two is water two, two to three liters of water a day piece of cake start again start early step some water best energy drink and exercise you can have in the world the third is calories so the third is calories and what we want to do is just understand basic calories. So the world is conspiring against you. You have no idea what you're eating. You're eating things like Special K, uh, he pitched healthy healthy bars. You're eating salmon. You're eating avocado. And you know, there's, there's this. Nobody really has a, a true understanding of of what calories are in food. My, myself included. I've done body transformations. I'm constantly managing my weight, training. I've been doing personal training. I've had nutritionists for a few years. And I still can't guess calories effectively. It's, it's one, of the, one of the easiest mistakes to make when you're managing weight or cutting weight. So the third is calories. And it's just an, a basic understanding of how many calories are you eating on a daily basis? Because you burn X amount of calories and you'll know what that is. Because if you track your steps on Fitbit, you work out how, how much you weigh, uh, your age, your height, and your sex, um, you will you'll reasonably quickly get a, a rough understanding of how many calories you can eat for maintenance. And then depending on where you are, if you're doing a, a, any cycle, or you're doing uh, any sort of cut, you'll know what sort of deficit you need to go. Or you can, you can then pitch a deficit against uh, what you're eating and drinking. So the third is calories. It's basically do a Google search, have a look on your Fitbit, check a few places because everyone's calculations are loosely different based on your age, weight, sex, activity levels, steps on a daily basis, what are, what is your average calorie burn on a daily basis? And then the aim again with this is again, success and failure are very predictable. There's a blueprint for everything. There's no new problems. If you're putting on weight, you're burning more calories, uh, you're eating more calories than you burn. If you're losing weight, you're burning more calories than you eat. When you, both of those are very trackable, they're very predictable, and you need to be able to have that as, as a minimum in your life. It's to understand on a basic count how many steps, calories you burn with your steps, and then just eat in line with that. A tip there would be my fitness pal. So use my fitness pal as an app to 
track your food on a daily basis. If you get my Fit Fitness Pal Premium, you can actually uh, scan the food. So it takes two seconds. You can scan the food. It'll tell you exactly how many calories are in it. And then it'll track it for you on a daily basis. You know, scan three meals a day, what you're eating, and then, that, and then that'll tell you. A few top tips on calories is when you start to get a good understanding because you won't appreciate that little things like an egg, I think has, don't quote me on this, but I think an egg has like 70 or 80 calories. Whereas if you take the yolk out, it's more like 17 or 20. There's little things you can do in your diet to really manage it. You start to understand what calories are going in and what versus calories out. And you'll have a much better control over your weight management, your energy levels, and uh, yeah, basic, basic well-being. A few tips on that would be start just find the staple foods that you like. In fact, this, this will go on to step four, which is nutrition. Is find uh, find things you like eating that make you feel good and just eat more of those. So I'll, I'll reasonably, my lunch is pretty much the same every day. My breakfast is pretty much the same every day because I like it, it tastes good. I know how many calories are in it. I know the nutritional benefit and it just removes the guesswork. And then for dinner, my meal will, will reasonably consistently. I'm not, you know, I'm not a monk. I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm not cutting weight. I'm not like saying that I weigh my food every single meal. But when I know what, when I know portion control and I know how to eat, it allows me to manage my weight more, uh, more effectively. The fourth one on that to finish off. So remember, health is well. If you don't want to be rich, un rich and uh, the oldest man or, or the richest man or woman in the graveyard, you, ironically, the more you can invest in your health, the higher your performance will be. It's. Uh, it's the first thing to go when you run out of time, but it's also the biggest thing that will slow you down. We want to flip the switch on that by doing first is steps, second is water, third is calories, and the fourth, uh, calories and if you want to go more advanced, macros. And then the fourth is nutrition. The world is conspiring against you. You don't stand a chance going to a service station and getting lunch today. It is it is incredibly hard. I was going to say almost impossible, but I would say, unless you, I, I spend a reasonable amount of time on the road, uh, and traveling and unless you really know what you're looking for and or you catch you find yourself in the Marks and Spencers in the services where they've got them now in the BPs which work quite well most places it is almost impossible to get good food on the run but you want to understand what is good nutrition and it's not because it says diet that's not good nutrition because it says healthy snack bar that's not nutrition because it's a grenade bar that's not good nutrition that's a way to get to hit your macros Good nutrition is just basically understanding. We came, we've grown from what's, we've, we've built and developed as a civilization from what's grown on the planet naturally, using the sun, the water, the ground, and the plants in the main. And then for those of you that eat meat, I eat meat, the animals that graze on them. However, we ended up here, from whatever you believe, it wasn't on uh, all of the multicolored monster munches. Uh, chocolate bars, snack pots, all of these things that wraps from the service station, crisps, sa prepackaged sandwiches, that wasn't what got, got us here. They're all things that have been manufactured by a multi billion pound food industry. Good solid nutrition is starting to have an understanding of what is actually in the food you're eating. And this is one of the things we teach on Property Entrepreneur is how do you understand what, what is good and what is bad, essentially? And a few things here would just be about just understanding general nutrition, just think logically. If it's been deep fat fried, even though it's chicken or it's fish, it's probably not hugely nutritious to have that level of basically fat in your, in your meal. If it's grown from the ground and it's straight from source and it's in most cases not processed, that in the main is probably quite good for you. So lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, lots of protein sources, uh, beans, um, if you want to have some processed things like perhaps breads, it's being strategic and understanding which of them make you feel good. I don't tend to eat normal bread, like normal white or brown bread anymore, but I do still eat sourdough because I just think it's amazing. I think it's very tasty. It fills me up and it, uh, I digest it well and it's well within my, my macros. Uh, eggs, lean meats like turkeys, um, those of you that want protein alternatives obviously there's natural protein alternatives or there's highly processed protein alternatives and there'll be pros and cons of or there'll be considerations around all of those uh, vegetables uh, if you're going to eat uh, carbohydrate or you want some carbohydrates things like rices sweet potatoes anything that's uh, 
green in the salad drawer, the veg drawer, so broccolis, uh, green beans, edamames, um, salads, lettuces, cabbages, anything that's sort of where you can get high value for low volume. High value in nutrition, uh, high volume in mass. So ideally you want to have like a low calorie density. A high calorie density would be like a chocolate bar where you might get 400 calories for a couple of mouthfuls of chocolate. Whereas if you do yourself a ginormous plate of uh, lean protein or pr protein or lean meats coupled with a load of broccoli, a load of green veg, some salad, some maybe some white rice, well, white or brown rice, depends. I, the, I, I tend to eat white rice because I find it easier on my digestion. Uh, and just really bulk those up to make the most of it. These things you're hearing me say must sound like complete, nothing on property entrepreneur is rocket, is rocket science. Every single workshop, every single blueprint, every single step of the seasons we use through the year, our property entrepreneurs get these blueprints that are so straightforward to use. The challenge is the world is conspiring against you. They're not out there and readily available. And that actually to execute them is the challenge. So if you if you if you would not put yourself on your AAA game by AAA game I mean you you get up at a good time each day you exercise you hydrate and you're feeling good you're feeling motivated you're feeling inspired you want to go and enjoy a good day you're naturally buzzing about the day ahead you're active you're maintaining a good body weight your motivation and energy levels are both high but also consistent rather than spikes during the day where perhaps you're nice and lean in the morning you have a big lunch and it knocks you out you're yawning in the afternoon you're banging some coffees you're hitting the red bulls and the the monster drinks you know these are all things that are very rarely required in most cases it's a, a deficit of nutrition rather than than anything else so hopefully that's given you some insight the second value that we focus on on property entrepreneur is health there's no point being rich in the, the richest man or woman in the graveyard we want to make sure you're uh, healthy enough to enjoy it in the short term and then healthy enough to make the most of it in the medium and the uh, the long term so that's our second value. If you're not already doing those things, highly recommend putting them in place today. 10 to 12,000 steps, two to three liters of water. Um, matching, your, find out what your calories are and then about at least maintaining a good calorie count. And if you want to go more advanced a bit, start to understand macros and then just understand that you could stay within your calories by eating Mars bars every day. Actually, we want to be making the most of that opportunity to eat food and have good value, good high volume uh, nutrition. It tastes good. It looks good. It fills you up. You look forward to eating it. And uh, these things together will get you on your uh, uh, on your AAA game. Hope you enjoyed that. If you're uh, not already in the Property Entrepreneurs community on Facebook, there's over 6,000 of us in there now. Feel free to join us in there. Otherwise, if you're not subscribed to the podcast and you listen to it or you listen to this on Facebook Live, go to the official Property Entrepreneur podcast on Apple Podcasts. So hit subscribe on there. There's about 25 odd episodes on there already. You can play a bit of catch up. Otherwise, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. And if you're not already signed up to one of our three day events coming this spring and summer, feel free to join us there and we'll take you through the whole year's blueprint, start to finish strategy, systems, finance, recruitment, and marketing and sales. When you put all of that together, throw in some execution, get yourself on your AAA game, anything in life is achievable with a bit of execution so success and failure are very predictable i wish you all the best for the beautiful day ahead get some steps drink some water and have something tasty to eat i'm going back for my uh, late breakfast now take care guys i'll see you on the next one Thank you for listening to the official Property Entrepreneur podcast. Trust you found value and insight in the topics discussed and as always, very much welcome your comments, feedback and any suggested guests or topics you would like us to consider. Please leave us a review and let us know what you think. Follow me on social media, Daniel Hill on Facebook, Property Entrepreneur on Instagram and YouTube. And if you'd like to hear more, please share, subscribe and look forward to seeing you on the next one.